Hi there, Taurus, and let's go ahead and get you a quick reading in here. All right, what does Taurus need to hear? What does Taurus need to hear? Nice quick message here for Taurus. All right, we have Temple Path in the reverse. Hmm. Still strength, the reverse, patience. Okay. Um, Taurus, I, f I feel like, uh, ooh, there's something big happening here. Ooh, yeah, something big. Um, there, there's some kind of transition, okay, a transition period right now that you may be finding it difficult. You may be feeling like you need to embrace your spiritual path more, but it's eluding you. Or there's some kind of key or something you're missing that you feel you want to actually access. I do feel here with patience, which is essentially a temperance card, you're definitely being asked here to be more patient with yourself. Like it's going to reveal itself in time. And here's why we have in the shadow, um, caring connections, uh, your friend group or your lovers or your lover or whoever it is, your family that you spend time with on a regular basis. Um, they may not be of the spiritual type. They may not be the kind of people that are asking deep questions of themselves or giving themselves um, the space to, you know, learn something. Uh, I'm hearing there could be uh, like drinking involved. Uh, there could be people doing drugs like heavily, right? I'm not against that. I'm just saying there's something about the people that you're around. You just feel like they don't care about you. There's something about it that seems really shallow to you. And um, yeah, what do we have underneath that? Yeah, your soul here is calling for rejuvenation with rest and rejuvenation. You may have become very tired lately or just feel like older than what you are and a happy family underneath that. You may be thinking a lot like about like your future. Like, do I want kids? Do I want this? Do I want that? All right, Taurus, something, something about this screams to me, someone who's just started awakening or they're having a spiritual epiphany or you're, you're having like a, whoa, what's going on here? Wait, uh, this isn't how life really is supposed to be like, like something has opened your eyes and you're trying to figure this out. Um, so with the patience card here, I feel like this is definitely a soul journey that has opened up for you. I do. And what, what's happening is your strength is definitely being tested. You may be someone who gives in to your uh, desires more and nothing wrong with being that way. Okay. Being a lover of life and loving being a human. There's nothing wrong with that. The spiritual path is not about, you know, you know, transcending humanhood, you know, so you no longer enjoy life. Right. But I feel like this is something deeper. Okay, Taurus, this is something to do with giving into desires far too much and perhaps no one really actually connecting to you in a way that you feel is a soul connection or a soul vibe and kind of learning that your own um, desires have ruled you. Perhaps you've become a bit of a lush, right? Or um, maybe there's a, a bit of a, a void that you've tried to fill with attention from others or love from others you've been trying to get right and this is this is a unequivocally you're you're learning so you're changing so you're, you're definitely changing here and it's all centered around relationships now let's get you a little bit of advice here with the moonology and we're done What advice do we have for Taurus? Don't let pride get in your way. So you guys, um, <laughs> this is Leo energy. You may have Leo alignments, but what I'm trying to say here is simply this. Two messages. First one is don't let your pride get in the way. This is basically maybe you are starting to understand yourself a little bit more and then maybe you've been quite prideful. Maybe you've been able to attract people or get things done in a way that you know, you see fit, like you get what you want. I get what I'm hearing this. I always get what I want. Like uh, someone who just knows that they get what they want. Like maybe you're super attractive or charming, or maybe you just need to have good money. Right. So this is encouraging you Taurus to take a look deeper. Like, wait, hold on. Are those really, um, the way I want to connect to people or am I looking for something deeper? 
Is this like, why is my, I'm hearing someone's skull, soul, skull. <laughs> Some of you guys may like skulls or you may be kind of like, you know, darker. Maybe you like a goth or, you know, into rock music or something. Um, I'm also hearing maybe you're emo or you've been emo or something like that. I don't, or you like have, I'm also seeing that for some reason a skull castle. I don't know what that's about, a skull castle. Um, anyway, so what I'm trying to say here, the second message with don't let pride get in your way is the pride of those around you, like your pride, the people around you, you consider closest to you. Um, you may have built up a friendship group or a family dynamics that are very closely tied to your ego or very closely tied to how you interact daily with life. And, um, basically if you're wanting to explore the temple path here, which you feel like maybe I've been lost for a while, you may have felt, you may feel lost right now. Okay. Taurus you may feel lost. So what's actually happening here is, um, you know, don't, don't let others, right. Source is trying to say, don't let others influence your spiritual path. Your spiritual path is unique. It's going to be unique to you. And you may find that others do not agree. They don't agree with what's happening to you or they see you changing and they're like, what's wrong with you? You're not the same, uh, you know, Joe, you're not the same Richard that we knew or whatever, right? You're not the same person. And you may be exploring like deep topics now within you or asking yourself like all these questions, like, have I wasted my time or am I getting old or something like that? And your friends or your family are like, what's wrong with you? Like, because you're changing. All right. What do we have? Show the world the real you. Here it is. Aquarius energy. So what's under that? The answers you need are coming. Gemini energy. And your emotions are definitely running high. So I'm not surprised, Taurus, with the Pisces moon that we have right now. Um, you may be like really in your feelings about a person or about your soul journey in life or just about who, who am I? Like you're, you, you're birthing something within you. Okay, Taurus, something new is opening up and you may be feeling that it's time for the true path of your life. Like you really want to, you want to learn something new. You want to be someone new. You want to be awakened or you want to be, um, you know, magical or something, but yeah, you're having an epiphany or some kind of awakening here. Uh, you may be activated as well. You could have come across a soul connection that has activated you also. All right. That is what I have for you, Taurus, for your quick message. If you feel like this resonated and you want a full reading, you can find my information down below in the description box and I will do a private personal reading for you. All my rates are very affordable. All right. Talk soon, Taurus.